tryna be crack. Yeah, she wanna be cutty. That bitch is a bad bitch. I'm gonna fuck the house, not the We're days away from the national championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind. What's Can lightning that? strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Uh, not, not at all. It, no, no, not that's no? it. But hold on. I don't yeah, think he has to be. And this, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at this table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, but I disagree. <laughs> the team has a ton of talent. But they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Hey, National championship game. Hey, can man. I talk to you a minute? It's sure, Coach. It's clear in California. I think this is at the 49er Stadium. <sighs> Again, this is my second episode. If you guys didn't you see know, the first one, I'll leave it in the description, which was uh, the it's first game a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you got to take a step back. All right? You got to breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that, and, and everything gets real quiet. All right, so breathe, take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. Got yeah, you, gang. thanks. Good. On. Yeah, yeah. Got you. I'm not even sure what, anything he just said, but I got you, bro. Being tonight here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara for the college football playoff national championship game. As we'll see the Florida State Seminoles taking on the LSU Tigers. One game to decide it all. It's the College Football Playoff National Championship, and off we go from Levi Stadium. This fielded at the two. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30 yard line. Find something. There's nothing available there for him. With one game of college experience now in his pocket, this young quarterback leads the Tigers up first and ten. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Catch. That block. This one complete to Streets. First play. First play. First play. There he goes left side. And he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt. Go. They're not going to know where to go here. He lost the football. And the defense will get their hands on it. Going the other way. 20, 10, 5. No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the batter. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit and not go down and fumble the ball. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Now back to throw. Flushed out right. Looking right, in zone, but it's incomplete. Mean, bro, we will always have a All right, Captain. Like, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you cut. And this is caught for a touchdown. Now hold everything here. Flag in the backfield. This one might be coming back. 
So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way? And that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. Alex Randall there to make the grab. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. But Charles, we talked in the semifinal about Isaiah Street's brother, Ezekiel, lost due to leukemia exactly one year ago. Right, the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage. Not a great start. Being chased out left. He'll what let the, it go uh, deep for streets. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys already got hey, into the end point. zone. But good coverage to make hey, sure that this time it fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He's going to walk one yeah, deep left that. side here. Oh, and God. unable to connect. Incomplete. Oh, now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They're going to try and throw. There's this out for Streets. Can't throw. He threw the ball And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth. Weren't able to come up with it. How about that defense, though, huh? How about that D? Momentum swing. And you know, I remember playing how much. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 13. He's at the 50. Those INTs all sting, but you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Second and 10. He has a little Miss. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. First and 10, LSU. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. They'll look to throw. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick. But instead, it falls down incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll set up the throw. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Back to throw here. Goes back to streets. This time he's got it. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. They're going to look to throw. Now George. I see that. Okay. And he fires one that's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates going to check on it. Because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. you got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Get, oh and his throw is going to be incomplete. The Tigers of LSU looking for their fourth title in school history. They were champs way back in 1958 and twice in this century so far, 2003 and 2007. Stop. 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 
Back to throw. Forced out to his left. Throwing left side, it's complete. The end result, 21 yards. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Second and four. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. They'll look to throw here. When you got your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. And it's put up or shut up time defensively. Nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. He'll drop to throw. That is caught. It's streets. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him. And oh, I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on, come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. Hey, team six. Team six. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Dancing. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. We talk about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. They'll buy some time. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll try and throw for it here. He's going to walk on deep left side here. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. It's the seven now on second and goal. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. So his struggles just continuing here in the first half, throwing the football charge now three interceptions. And they don't feel like they're just great plays by the defense. There's a sense that maybe he's a little careless with the football now. So some of the great coaches in the past, you know, they've always said. In trouble here and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. He's got his man on the crossing route. Well, LSU just one half away from a national title. What a story this would be. Two touchdowns on the safety in the first half. I don't like that. I'm going to come back here and try to get some more points on the board. Hey, you need to play better in the second half, all right? What? Just give me the ball, all right? Let me do my thing. Got it. Hey, you know how much this means to me, right? Of course I do. Then make it happen. Bro, I'm like, okay, I'm man. Bro. I don't even like kind of rock with him, bro. I haven't thought about anybody but him. Just one half remains in the college football right, season as we begin the second half of this national championship game. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. They've got to like their position. They lead this championship game, two quarters to play. What's the course of action in this second half? I think you continue to show your quarterback that you've got faith in him. Continue to run the offense the way you did in the first half. Continue to give him opportunities. But behind his back, head coach is telling the offensive play caller, if you see any moments where it feels too big for him, be ready to dial this game plan back. 
LSU with a first and ten. He'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's good play. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? In this case, they managed to get it done. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They'll set up a throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And he will take this in. Touchdown, LSU. From 21 yards away. And LSU adds on to their advantage. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it? The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. So, CD, you look at our quarterback. He said it. He's been consistent. This is it. I'm graduated. I'm not going to go the grad transfer route. It's time for me to move on. If you're an NFL scout, do you see enough in him to think he's got a future in this league with this little experience that we've seen? Every scouting instinct tells me to tell him to go the graduate transfer route. But you know how it is nowadays. And look, he's played awfully well against two top five defenses. Someone's going to take a shot and give this guy a look. Well, several teams need a quarterback. You think about the Cardinals, they're, they're going to be picking number one. But Giants figure to be in the market. Broncos, Bengals, possibly the Raiders. So there's going to be some teams looking. And don't forget, backups are at a premium in this league. And this guy could be a developmental player. Draft him, let him work in your organization for a while, learn the playbook, sit for a while, because down the road, he could turn out to be a gem. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field, incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go, ball on the 43. They'll drop the throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Looking to throw. That was pretty. They executed that. And this is taken in at the five. So they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That one good for 37 yards. Here's a first and goal, LSU. They'll look to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. What the? A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet. Now, rush coming, and he's taken down. Third and goal, they decided to throw for it, but how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. The decision to go for it doesn't go down. And go over right at the 10-yard line. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. 
And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. What is he? You and I have called a good number of games over the course of space. our career where we've it's seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball uh, back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Back to throw now on second and ten. Flush to his right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. And he will take this in. Touchdown, LSU. Alex Randall, his second touchdown of the night. And LSU adds on to their advantage. There you go, Charles. Apparently, all she had to do was ask. How about if you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield? They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, it doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> they knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door. Didn't we? we did indeed. I think we're down to none. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. We're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. He'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. Oh, no, he lost the football. <laughs> now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. That one looks like he'll throw here. And that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. A.J. McGrath there to make the grab. And LSU adds on to their advantage. Well, it would be real easy to say that they are firm. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them? Yeah, I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film when it's to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Goes back to streets. This time he's got it. I got streets his last little catch, I guess. It's a story to end all stories behind a quarterback who had never taken a snap in college football until just nine days ago. For the first time since 2007, the LSU Tigers are your national champions. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the podium at midfield for the presentation of the College Football Playoff National Championship Trophy as we present your College Football National Champion, the LSU Tigers. Jack Ford, talk about a long shot. And as a man who's known as the quarterback whisperer, and I suggest you trademark that, by the way, um, how are you feeling about your quarterback right now? I tell you, this kid's amazing. He worked around the clock to prepare for this game. i never seen anything like it. And I am so proud of what he's done and under this kind of pressure. Hope all you NFL scouts out there are paying attention, because this kid's special. Come on, man. You deserve it, son. Congratulations. Coach, this is you, man. This is great. Thank you. A perfect end to a too short season. You're leaving here a champion. 
I, 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 it's better than I ever thought it would feel. I can't even describe it, really. Just to be up on the stage, celebrated with these guys. It's perfect. It's just perfect. It is a perfect end, but it seems like you put up a pretty good case that it shouldn't be today. How do you feel about that? I, hey, I, I think I gave myself a shot. If the NFL comes calling, I'll pick up the phone. But this guy over here, this guy, take that trophy, man. Absolutely. Isaiah Streets, we are all aware of the loss of your brother and what it took to be here today. But can you tell us, in this moment, how you're feeling right now? It's a lot, lots of feelings, Taylor. Uh, I made a promise to my brother that I was gonna... <laughs> you know, none of this, none of this would have been possible without this man right here. This dude came into an impossible situation. He's got heart. Love you, man. Hey, I love you, man. Zeke! See? This was for you, baby! Yeah! This was for you! Yeah! And let's go! A lot of emotions out on the field tonight. This is what football is all about. About getting hit and getting back up. And as you can see in a season, you guys did it was like characterized this. by right, overcoming. Up, guys. If you guys These did guys like this did video. just that. Please and won a, a national like, championship. Back man. to you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's Brandon C. Flash.